Good morning. It is a 9.59 time opportunity for us to be gathered together in God's Word and to uh, look towards plus one second of the day of being a proclaimer. But I had a revelation. Uh, not one of those kinds of revelations, just a, a thought. Why not plus one person? One pl plus one person to God's kingdom. So 9.59, 9 minutes and 59 seconds of your time, and plus one second to proclaim that we may get plus one person to God's kingdom. God's blessings to you. It's so good to be with you again. Sorry for the hiatus. I just needed to get my act together, if you will, and uh, I did, and praise be to God for that opportunity. A little bit of time of peace and solace, and, uh, and so here we are on Thursday, June 4th, 2020, in Lincoln, Nebraska, another beautiful day. We had some pretty strong storms move through last night, but I don't, I don't see any damage, and so I think things are okay. Uh, the rain was going kind of sideways yesterday, so that showed, or last night, so you know how uh, hard that wind was blowing and driving. Um, yeah, so the kind of the emotional struggle I was having was just kind of a confluence of a variety of things all coming together at the same time and um, just couldn't keep my emotions in check. And I, I, I apologize for that, but also that's just a further uh, feather in the cap of being a human being. And that's certainly what I am with many failures and failings, um, uh, much sin too. Um, and I need Jesus, the same Jesus that I seek to proclaim to you. I need him for myself too. And so thank you for your patience, for your love, for your prayers. Uh, they mean so much to me, and I know that prayer is uh, so very powerful. So thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart to those of you who watch regularly. So we'll continue on. Um, so yeah, so I was thinking in terms of, you remember when you were first were told, and, and this is going to be true for some generations and not so much for maybe older generations because of when you were on this earth. Uh, but I remember as a child learning about the whole idea of these concentration camps. Actually, it goes back, uh, I read a book on Martin Luther King Jr. and was reading that and I was so moved by the the terrible things that happened to him and I took it so personally and got so enwrapped in it um, and it, it struck me just uh, terribly that, that other human beings would treat human beings that way. Um, it just uh, made no sense to me. And so I remember then hearing for the first time about these concentration camps and the terrible, awful things that happened there. And I just recoiled in horror because as, as a follower of Jesus, I know that life is so important. I know the value of, of respecting other human beings, all human beings, even those I, I disagree with, um, and that that is imperative for us. And so um, if you can think back to some of those times, those first being exposed to some of these terrible things that have happened in in our history, uh, recent history and, and maybe further back history, um, you have a sense of kind of that conflict that I had brewing inside of me that I wasn't able to kind of get a lid put on um, and uh, be uh, what a pastor is called to be and do. And so um, again, thank you for your patience. So anyways, uh, moving forward, uh, I got a riddle that I think you've only heard maybe once uh, last week. Um, that riddle was, uh, Above the ground, so high, like a diamond in the sky, yet it's not in the song. Maybe you guessed it, uh, a kite, a kite, uh, right? Uh, many kites are, are diamond shaped, not all of them, but, but some of them are. And uh, yet the kite is, is not in the song. Uh, it does, and this was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was the song, and uh, it is that kite up in the sky, so high above the ground, uh, twinkling like a diamond in the in the sun, so. All right, so our, our, uh, our, our, our our riddle or our thought for next Thursday. Three words. Think on this. It's not too hard, but maybe that's kind of what makes it more difficult. Uh, noun, verb, insect. Noun, verb, insect. See what you can do with that. Use those beautiful brains that God has given you to come up with the answer for that one. So. All right, our sponsor for today is a psalm. It is Psalm 80. The subtitle of this psalm is Restore Us, O God. And boy, uh, do we pray for that uh, for ourselves, for our families, for our community, for our nation. Restore us, O God. And uh, the verses I want to share with you are, are verses 4 through 7. So let me read those for you. Our sponsor today, Psalm 80. 
Restore us, O God, let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord, God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us an object of contention for our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts, let your face shine that we may be saved. Indeed, that God would scrape off the old and put on a coat of the new, get rid of that which is dirty and filthy, that which is sinful and sin-filled, and make us new, and he did in our baptisms. I've got great news for you, and I, I was going to share this with you on Monday, and then things just kind of uh, uh, went down uh, up, up here and in here. So uh, the little girl Tallulah, I think I've mentioned her at least once on some 959s, tiny little girl. Um, she was born in this world at 23 weeks, um, Is weighs, um, I think last I heard, maybe 15 ounces, maybe a little bit more, um, so tiny. Um, they were able to baptize her. God scrubbed that little girl, made her clean, and said, You belong to me. Her, God's name is written upon her. And so um, we don't know how long for life she is in this world. Um, we pray God would do miracles and accomplish that for this little girl. She's, she's undergone a variety of, of surgeries. Um, I understand the only way they could get an IV into her was to put it into her jugular. I mean, just very frightening and, and scary stuff. But... Um, Please keep uh, her mom uh, uh, in your prayers. I won't say her name, but um, um, keep keep uh, Tallulah's mom in your prayers and Tallulah. And uh, we just rejoice in the waters of holy baptism for this, this girl. Thing on the desk. So instead of a gospel lesson for today, um, I just want to close off with a thing on the desk. It's this this little book. It's, it's not our most recent uh, pastoral care book uh, that we're supposed to use. Uh, this actually goes back to the previous generation to Lutheran worship, which would have been those blue hymnals. A number of churches never even had them or utilized them. But this is what I grew up on as far as a pastor is concerned. My vicarage, uh, I got this. And I use it for all my funerals because it's got uh, just a, a layout that I really like. But I did a funeral yesterday for a sister in Christ, uh, Leanna, and I uh, was, was very glad to be with the family and to uh, give thanks to God for the gift of her life. Uh, but one of the last things that we do at the burial site is we read uh, these words. And uh, I'm going to focus in on a particular um, little phrase that's in here. So let me just read the whole thing for you. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. And then you conclude, Amen. I always think it's strange. Why, why am I saying this to these people who are grieving? It's because out of darkness comes light. And when we see the reality of sin and what it does and what it accomplishes in our loved ones and uh, what it does in this world, we need to be reminded as brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as children of the God Most High, that it is indeed uh, important and imperative that we who already know our salvation is given to us, not based on who we are or anything we've done, but because of God's grace, that he would continue to make us perfect in every good work to do his will. And that is my prayer for myself and for all of you, God's people, that you would continue to seek to do that which is good and beautiful, do that which is kind and gentle, to continue to love even when it's not a loving situation. May the gracious God who created you, the Son who redeemed you, and the Holy Spirit that continues to work those good works in you, accomplish that in the end. God's blessings to you, plus one second to proclaim, and plus one person to God's kingdom. We'll see you tomorrow. No interview for tomorrow. It'll just be a standard 959. God's blessings. As the rain and the snow fall down from the sky, and they don't return, but they water the earth and they bring forth life. Giving seed to the sower, bread for the hunger. So shall the word of the Lord be with a sound like thunder. And it will not return, it will not return void. We shall be led.